What's up guys, hopefully this is going to be the most foolproof way of successfully updating Arch Linux, or in this case, Black Arch Linux. So we'll start with the best case scenario, then we'll deal with the worst case scenario where nothing's working. First thing we're going to do is fire up a terminal. And if you're really fortunate, the command will just work, which is sudo pacman hyphen syu. Let's run that, put in our password. We'll just agree to everything. Proceed with installation. Yes, it gives us some information on how big the download's going to be. So we'll let that run. We'll be back shortly once this has complete. Now, in this case, the update completed successfully. This may not be the most common thing that happens. So if you are getting a ton of error messages about packages that have unknown trust, or other issues which are clearly to do with the signing of packages and the Arch Linux keyring, the most useful command for solving everything that I found so far is sudo pacman hyphen sy Arch Linux keyring. Let's run that. We'll type in our password. We don't need to do this in this case since everything is working just fine. You can see the net upgrade size is zero megabytes in this case. We'll proceed anyway. At the time of creating this video, if you install an instance of Black Arch Slim from the ISO, the update won't work on its own with pacman-syu. But if you first run this command, sudo pacman-sy arch linux keyring, that's all you need to do in order for the update process to complete. So we run pacman-sy arts on its keyring. Then after that, we can run the sudo pacman-syu. That will take you from a fresh install of Black Arts Linux Slim to a completely updated version of Black Arts Linux Slim. Now let's just say in an extreme example, things are still not working and you're running into issues with the signing of packages. So this is the extreme version. Only do this if you are having big problems because there are some security implications with following this next process. So package signing is there to help protect us, the user. But if it gets to the stage where security is not really that important and updating your system is giving you a huge headache, this can be a fallback last resort option. If we head to Etsy, and we'll see in the Etsy folder, there's a pacman.com. In fact, let's see if we can just vim into that. This is the configuration for the pacman package manager. Now, if we scroll down, we'll see a SIG level section to the document. And we have the values here for that SIG level parameter. Now, if we delete those and we change this value to never, now our instance of Arch Linux is not going to care about checking the legitimacy of packages that we've downloaded. This is good in the sense that we don't need to worry about our update process failing out, but it's bad in the sense that the signing of packages is designed to protect us. So potentially only use this as a last resort, but if security is not a real issue, depending on what you're doing and you just want the update process to complete, this could potentially be a fallback workaround. All right, thanks very much for watching guys. This was the quick version of updating Arch Linux. There may be some other issues you run into, in which case there are at least two other videos on this channel where we run an update on Black Arch Linux. So if this didn't solve your problem, check out those videos as well and see if there's another solution you can make use of.